Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Spider-Man. We are just outside of, o of Oscorp Tower, getting ready to break inside. So, if you remember from last time, we have to find some way to hack into the security system so that we can better infiltrate the upper floors where Norman's office is. Apparently, I had to go along the ground to find the uh, cable with my spider sense. Looks like there's four of these around the building. Should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. So what this I thought it would be easy. What this essentially is is an exterior vertical stealth sequence. You don't have to keep pulsing your spider sense to follow this cable either. Uh, as you follow the road that it creates through all the sniper lasers, I wonder why they color coded them blue. They're almost always red in everything. All stable teams. Looks like I wonder what the psychology behind that problem. is like. We're calling in a specialist. Or the color theory. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. Should I distract myself immediately? Uh, yeah, the cables There's leading the module. to each security module what? creates a road for you to follow up the Don't tower. control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. And each time you hack into one of these nodes, you have to deal with a new problem in the next section. So the first time, it's just the sniper lasers, which pretty thin beams can't really detect you all that easily. Okay, just two more. Now we have spotlights from the drones. They cast a much wider diameter of light. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. So it's much Copy easier to get caught up by those. And once one of them catches you, there it is. Everybody just converges on you and fires at you all at once. Subsystem is going offline. That's three down Eight out of four. Scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy control. Bird inbound. And now they have an even wider spotlight move. from the helicopter. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, I gotta find that last module. This is pretty cool. Love the deep purples here. And Here's we're the past the one. helicopter. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. By the way, there's going to be a lot of stealth in this episode. Should we go on the next... Not yet. Well, including this one, the uh, there are two stealth segments in a row. There must be someone out there. Ain't nobody here but me... spiders. I can't zip up there. I have to drop first? Yep. Now for a lot of eavesdropping. I think I missed my fuck mark. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B and E right now. Pompa, son of a bitch, you're lying. And that's oh, a be too mad, Norman. We know you and Fisk built a secret Devil's Breath lab, but we still don't know where it is and what Michaels has to do with it. Let's hope your computer can tell us more. That's about the extent of what we can get out of uh, Norman and Fisk's conversation. G Twenty-seven. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. Morgan Michaels. Or Michael Morgan. Shit, I don't know which way I had that. If that actually works, it could cure any <laughs> genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's. This is crazy. So, 
lots of deaths. And it's highly contagious. Whoa. GR-27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels, we find Devil's Breath. So his name is a play on an alias of one Morbius the Living Vampire. And that is so wild to me that they went for that poll. It's only slightly less weird than Sony Pictures deciding to do a whole Morbius movie. Like, everybody knows who, who Venom is. Anybody who knows about Spider-Man knows about Venom. But fucking Morbius? I refuse to believe that Morbius has enough cultural capital to be MJ, relevant. Get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. Checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and pop. Ah, fuck. Are you, MJ? Crap. So we finally go back to another MJ the section. Crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. I don't know if you've been able to tell, but all the voiceover for Spider-Man was recorded twice. They had Yuri Lowenthal do a stationary take, and one where they directed him to to uh, sound like he's exerting himself while talking. And the vocal track in the game will shift back and forth between the calm, composed, and the exerted tracks as you move. So if you're perched, you get smooth, Peter. But if you're swinging House around, Must be Standish. a different voiceover kicks somewhere. in. I think that is one of a number of ways in which this game goes so far above and beyond anything that you could really reasonably ask for with the details. And these are things that'll be invisible What's to that? like 99% of people Demons without being told explicitly that this is what's going on. Standish is in real but danger. the gambit that I think they're making with investing so much time and money into the details like this is that time even if you can't see the breeze, you still feel it. Standish, I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. All right, so we've relocated uh, Standish, who we met before Standish in that elevator down. mission. Lockout comms as well. I do not want to leave Although MJ has not met him yet, only Spider-Man. I won't distract him for long. So you kind of have to take this one on faith that the other one you saw in the tent is going to have his back to you. Uh, after the other guard comes for the generator distraction. How's it looking? It's Contact always going to be true, but five five. it's still a little nerve-wracking the first time because you don't know that that's always going to be true. And you have to take that corner a little bit blind. Oh, shouldn't have gone this way. But I thought the other one would have seen would have seen me out of, of uh, his periphery. But now we're good. 
I think this section is a lot easier than the first uh, MJ sequence, just because there are so uh, so many fewer things to either step on or knock over that can alert people. Uh, we'll see a little bit of that coming up soon, but there's just less overall, which is a little surprising because of the way they scatter the leaves on the ground. It might lead you to believe that that's, you know, they're going to crunch and crinkle under your feet. And you'll have to avoid piles of those, but it doesn't really matter. There are a couple of boxes you can knock over up here that'll alert guards. But it's... It's not like all the broken glass and, and the crates and... Oh, fuck. I didn't expect that to work, but I was kind of hopeful that he was distracted kneeling down. Uh, yeah, there's like a, there's a lot of broken glass. There are the boxes in the warehouse. Here, this is the only part where you can really be clumsy and out yourself. Add two more units. He carries the old. Okay, you're gonna take this way around. Why don't I actually do this this time? Because I I know I'm gonna have to distract him now. This gets me around a lot of those boxes too. And on to the final-ish section of this. Safe houses. It's not very long. Michaels is in one of these. Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego does Watch it again? What's up with these lights? So we're gonna do a few cool things with the trucks here. Uh, namely, ooh, someone saw me a little bit. Uh, we're gonna use these as mobile cover. Unless these two decide to not get going. In which case, I have to come up with a new plan. Maybe it's only the lead. Mm, no, he just cleared him. Maybe it's only the lead truck that already left that moves? If so... Uh, I think I just made my job a little bit harder on myself. Oh, fuck. Sort of have to go for this now. Oh, like a fool. Let me follow the lead truck a little bit more closely this time. And see if that solves my problem. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michael just carries devil's breath. So we're gonna do that just a little bit faster. Again? What's up with these lights? You must turn. Thank you. This puts me ahead of the trucks. Or wait. Oh no, I'm supposed to come around back here. Ah, that's my fuck up. Now we can just distract this one dude. How did you almost see me behind the barrels? I'm practically invisible, sir. I heard the goddamn aliens again. They're coming to abduct me. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. <laughs> He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What? I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Get the back up over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something! <laughs> Ugh. 
I mean, you could have taken Standish with you. That would have been a solution. Bull. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Is he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No, it was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter, that's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drio Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the Feast Shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This or more therapy. He needs this. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Ed May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. This is what I've been waiting for. Now we can go back to Oscorp. Fuck, why do I keep calling it Oscorp? Octavius Industries. And we can even take the luxurious New York subway. By the way, don't forget to swipe people in. If they look like they uh, can't afford to themselves. Help someone out. But a slightly longer low than I anticipated. Should I start commentating? No. <laughs> No, I should not. Maybe I should keep doing it in this voice. I don't know. Is this the new Spider-Man voice? Hey, Are you gonna sorry, be Emily. sexy Spider-Man for Halloween? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. What about a sexy Doc Ock? Get it under three milliseconds. Wait, I'm kind of turning it into my Solid Snake impression. Fuck. Uh, we will save you the trouble of having to watch me do a couple of puzzles. Uh, and end it here. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.